Oh, having a little technical difficulties. Okay, all right, I'm back again. <laughs> okay, like I was saying, uh, anyway, I'm washing the dishes, and um, I just wanted to talk, chat a little bit, why I, um, and I'll just explain, like, my, I just, as I go on this journey, I really want to take y'all with me on this journey of success. Like, um, I just want to explain, you know, how sometimes you have to say no in, um, in your life. Like, it to either it's a business deal or you just have to let God lead you in your life. So, I am Linda. I'm the CEO of Lenny B. I just, to motivate people, I want to motivate people and, um, I know my purpose in life, and I'm working to help people know their purpose in life as well. And I just, I'm, motiv I'm working to be a motivational speaker, and I'm doing, the purpose of me doing these lives is just to get familiar with uh, talking to people. So, anyway, I'm washing the dishes, so I'm just trying to get a minute in. So, you know, I'm a mom, I'm a businesswoman, and I'm a mom too, so I gotta do, I gotta do it all. <laughs> So, um, anyway, as I wash the dishes, I'm just going to talk with you. So, I was, anyway, like I said, I want to talk to you about having to let people, you know, making the right decision and letting God lead you into your, any decision that you make. So, letting God lead, be the leader of your life, you know, and People, we all, you know, been through hard times and struggling, and especially at this last year or so. I just want to, um, I just want to motivate people into knowing, you know, to be help. I mean, hopeful, you know, to not to just think that, you know, everything is just, you know, just gone. You know, let God give you hope, and so that's how I am. I'm working to be a motivational speaker. So, anyway, what I, um, anyway, I was saying about having to let people, you know, know when to let people go out your life. So, I'm with this organization, and they put people together, so, um, that who have money with people who have ideas, and they part, you partner with them. And, um, you pitch your idea, and, um, you leave your information, and they'll contact you. So, uh, a few weeks ago, this guy contacted me from, and he, he you know, the first conversation went perfectly well. <laughs> I mean, and I, and I kind of messed up by putting all my eggs in one basket. So I just, um, I just, um, had to, um, you know, realize I, I learned the lesson in business and I just want to share the lesson that I learned in business with you too, not to put all your eggs in one basket, not to count on um, just one business deal, just going through. So anyway, I uh, came up with the idea for this app. So <laughs> and um, I pitched the idea to the to his company, and um, he agreed to give me a hundred thousand dollars. And I'm like, well, you know that that's a lot of money. You know, I could use that money. <laughs> it's uh, and um. So, like I said, the first time, he was like, wow, you unique. And then, yeah, hey, cuz, what's going on with you? Okay, but he was just telling me that, you know, he thought my idea was unique and I was a unique person. And so that conversation went well. And so the next conversation didn't go so well. <laughs> he started telling me how... um he wanted, he, I, he, you know, he was started telling me to follow certain people and do what they do. And one thing I know, may my auntie rest in peace. She taught me, don't be like nobody else. Be yourself. Cause I, I told her when she came in one day, I'll go. I'm like, oh, auntie, I want to be just like you when I grow up. She said, baby girl, be yourself. Cause everybody else is already taken. And <laughs> so. I learned, that's how my model been my whole life. I never wanted to be no, like no one. That's how my business is unique because I'm not in competition with anyone but myself. I just want to be better today than I was yesterday. And that's the only person that I'm in competition with is myself. And so he was telling me to, 
you know, who do you want to be like and mimic and all of this, you know, and I'm just like, well, you know, that's not my style. This, you know, and he then he started telling me, oh, Lord, he started telling me, well, you know, you talk about religion too much and this and that. And and I'm just like, oh, no, this ain't going to work because the type of clients that I want, I want my clients to pray for me. <laughs> I want my clients to say a prayer for me. I do not want them type of clients that's, you know, have me having a problem with me talking about God because I'm going to shout the Lord out because the only reason why I'm in business is because God has brought me here, you know, and I want to take the time out to help someone else get to where I'm, I am, you know, where I'm, get their own company started, you know, I want to help build people, get companies, I want to be at the top by myself, I want to take people with me, why I got to get rich and move out the community? I want to stay right in the community and make the community just as rich as me. Why would I get rich and take my money elsewhere? I want to help my community. So that's my plans. I ain't about to get rich and leave. <laughs> oh, that's not. So, you know, I want to help people. And I don't want you to be thinking I'm about to pay your rent every month because I'm not. I want to. Well, you get the opportunity for me to help you. I will. You know, if you want to start a business or do whatever, I want to I want to help you. I want to see you rise to the top. So, I just got on here to just, you know, tell anybody if you starting your business, let me know. I help you. You know, if you you know, started your business and you find yourself needing help, man, I'm here to help. We, that's what we're here for. We're here to uplift each other. It's not just about me getting rich. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be, I don't want you to be depending on me too, to have to do for you all the time. So, I just wanted to motivate people. I just want to help people do and know who they are, who the person that God made you to be. And, man, God kept me here for a reason. He kept, he spared my life. And I'm here to share my testimony with the world, where God has brought me from and where he leading me. I can tell you where I've been, but I want to show you where I'm going. <laughs> and that was my post for the day. My teacher wanted me to explain my post, and so that was my post. I want, I want to tell you my story, because I want to get to know you as you get to know me. And we help each other rise to the top. So, I just want to motivate people into knowing, man, they destiny. I just want to, man... There's so many people out here that's just like lost in the storm and don't know, you know, where they going. And it's, it's tough. You know, it's been a real tough two years. <laughs> you know, real, real tough for a lot of people, man. And, man, COVID done hit my family a lot of times. It's like, man, whew, boy, I tell you. So we never know. Now's the time. If you the bread, if you think, you man, it's time for you to step up. Because you never know. You know what I'm saying? You, It's time for you to do something different. It ain't, you know, the times ain't like how it used to be. Where you just think that you got time. Like losing my little brother taught me that. Like when I lost my little brother, that taught me that, you know, he younger than me. My baby brother. That taught me that you don't have time to waste. Thinking that you, oh, one day I'm going to do this. Oh, one day I'm going to write this book. One day I'm going to do that. You don't, and one day might not ever come. You know? So I'm just saying, I just want to help you like get started. Like, man, do something different. Be the person that God made you to be. You have purpose. Your life has purpose. You not Don't just go wandering through this earth without a plan. Like, for years, I just wondered... Dude, like it was just like I was driving a car and didn't have anywhere to go. <laughs> didn't know my destination. I'm just driving and without a destination. You have to plan, you know, figure out your destination, know where you're going. And you have to plan it out. And I want to help you. That's what I had to do. I'm not telling you something I didn't have to do. I had to, man, I'm going through it. I'm still learning right now. But the good thing, I get to teach people as I learn. <laughs> ain't that something good I get to teach people to I get to teach people to you know business stuff like I got a great team that's willing to help you that have helped me 
man, <laughs> I'm telling you, I got it. Oh, I have the amazing, like, I can't believe some of the things that this company has helped me do. I'm just like, wow, you know, I, I really, so just, if you interested in anything I'm doing, reach out to me and let me know. So, I ain't want to just go on and on. I want to go ahead and finish telling you what I, uh, about the, the, the guy. So, um, uh, things didn't go no so well with us because he started telling me that, you know, take religions out of business. And I just, I don't agree with that. How can I, I can't separate the two. It's, it's like, you know, I don't. I don't understand how can you separate the two because the only reason why I'm here is because God put me here and I'm grateful to be here. So I'm just I'm grateful where God brought me from and it, I told him I, I turned them down and I didn't do the deal with him. I didn't you know but anyway instead I God blessed me tremendously. I still got so I'm got my own company. I got a book I wrote. It's called Through the Eyes of Lindora. I got my own magazine. I'm starting my fan page with the the book. The people who've read my book, I'm having a book fan page, and um, I started a magazine <laughs> off of the book. People share their stories with me, so man, I'm doing pretty well. So God has blessed me tremendously, and um, you know I got my clothing line, and then I'm doing my launching. <laughs> I'm starting a. Uh, so, man, God has truly been good, like, to where God has brought me from, y'all. And I want to share God's blessing. I want to help people get to this point in their life to know who they are. You know, what's your purpose? You know, what's the plan that God have you for? You know, what's the plan that God, what's the plan you got for your life? It's time for you to seek it out. So, thank you so much for listening. I'm going to go ahead and keep on washing these dishes. I wanna just wanted to take the, a moment to, you know, tell people, you know, about what God did for me. He brought me a mighty long way. And, man, he loves you. God is still in control. He bigger than everything that's going on. So, thanks so much for uh, listening. And, um... Anyway, I'm going on with my uh the Lenny B company, so y'all be uh be on the lookout for me. I'm trying to uh I'm, we really working to have everything ready by uh by the first of May. <laughs> but so you know we really working on it. So stay tuned for that, cause uh, I really wanna uh I'm gonna have some giveaways and some discounts and just everything. I am so really excited about my uh Lenny B launching. So thank you so much. Let me get on these dishes. <laughs> Love, peace, and positive energy and abundance from me to you. Have a blessed day. God loves you. And so do I. Bye.